Thank you again, Paul, for your time welcome. this evening. And welcome everybody else. <laughs> um, I just want, to, <laughs> to, <laughs> just want to ask you a few questions about your time spent at the Chateau. Um, to start, um, is this your first year travelling here? No, 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 no several. We've been several times. Okay, so is it fifth, fifth sixth, or sixth? Yes. Yeah. Okay, um, and what year group do you normally bring to six, the Chateau? Year six and seven. Okay, fantastic. And um, and what brings you back year after year? Oh, crikey, you... there's lots of reasons that we come back. I mean, there's, um, it's fantastically organised. Mm -hmm. um, the organisation from the English side is really good. Um, and you're kept in touch with your booking all the time. Um, you have contact with the office, which yeah. is fantastic, and Carol and Gemma are great. Uh, and then when you get your booking through to the Chateau, the Chateau staff are also fantastic at communicating with you. So you, and your, your programme is tailor-made. So first of all, there's all the organisation, and then I suppose the big thing is what the Chateau offers. Um, we like the immersion in the French language. Uh, we try and support the Chateau by doing as much French ourselves as we can as well. So little things like children asking for pocket money, um, children dealing with us, we ask them to sort of use their French as much as possible as well. Uh, we also bring back, uh, because we bring Year 6 and 7, Year 7 have a slightly varied programme, so they choose before we arrive, the activities that they like, and the Chateau are really good at putting that together for us. Mm -hmm. uh, and then of course the, there's the fact that the animateurs and the, the French staff, the teachers that come with us also teach the past tense uh, in situ, so they can say things like, you know, this morning we bought or we went, yeah. and it, it's really good that they've experienced it. Yeah. But one, the re I mean, I suppose the reason we come back is the Chateau experience. Yeah. I mean, having spent a number of years going to a, a smaller but similar place where it was immersion in French. Um, having found the chateau, although you come back and the pattern is the same, every year is every year is slightly different, yeah. uh, which is great. Yeah. So there's that familiarity, but there's also it's also different. Yeah, and I think because when we talked, you have um, I think you've got seven on this group who have actually come before, yeah. but you've got yes. the group that are obviously new to it, so they can yeah. lead the way. And Absolutely, so you've got your older ones who, who are really good at bringing the other children along with their French, yeah. and we try and split the ones that are coming back for the second, and this year I've actually got two girls who have come back for the third, because they've enjoyed it so much, we try and split them between yeah. the activity groups, so as there's always somebody who's going to lead the way, yeah. and just break down that little bit of embarrassment that the year yeah. sixes have, yeah. until they get going. Yeah. But the animateurs are so good at keeping going with the French yeah. that in the end, you know, the children yeah. they have no choice. Yeah, you just get on with it. I think the fact that they don't speak English to them at no. any point during no. this day that really helps. As Absolutely. Well. I mean, yeah. we've, we've just done Le Grand Travail tonight, and the children were coming and saying, what does this mean, what does this mean? No, no, you work it out. Yeah. You go and, if, if necessary, we resort to a phrase book or a dictionary, but quite often, just talking with the children who've yeah. got that extra year of vocabulary yeah. is really good. Yeah. And we ask them to ask all their questions in French, so it's, it's really good for them. Yeah, and obviously um, when they're eating and, and yep. doing meal times, they're doing the same But the presentations are, are always good. I mean, I've got a member yeah. of staff with me for the first time who is native French, and she likes that. The fact that the, all the equipment, all the cutlery, all the crockery, all the food, all the drinks is all yeah. presented. Yeah. And what we're finding already, I mean, it's only our second day at the moment, but what we're finding already is that the vocabulary is building. And we've gone from single words, now we're into to sentences, yeah. Um, questions for asking for more bread, we're now looking at alternative ways of asking that question and posing the question, turning the sentence around, and they're fantastic at that. Yeah. I mean, I, I, can't, I can't express enough how brilliant the staff are. Yeah. The staff here yeah. are amazing people, and their patience is incredible. Because yeah. I tell you, if I had all those children <laughs> screaming at me during that activities, <laughs> even having done it for a number of years, I think I'd... I lose it. They are, their patients are incredible. Yeah, yeah, no. And, um, and just um, from, obviously you go off-site during your study, yes. what sort of excursions do you do and visits do you do? We try and vary them because obviously bringing children two years in a row, we don't want them sort of all doing the same thing. Yeah. So one year we'll do uh, Mont Saint-Michel okay. and then the following year we tend to go to Saint-Malo. We always do a market 
mm -hmm. and then we combine our market day with another trip. Yeah. So we might do the market at Bayeux and then do the tapestry or go on to Aramanche and the D-Day landings or else this year for example we're doing the market at saint Hilaire and then we're going on to Fougères and the castle. So you get a little bit, it's yeah. quite good to get the activities and some culture. Yeah, yeah. And, and do you find the workbooks good? The journal's fantastic, yeah. yeah, it's great. Yeah. Um, we tend to use the diary bit section quite a bit. Yeah. Um, and we ask that at le they all write at least um, two sentences in French. Yeah. And then they can use, uh, they'll list vocabulary. The year sixes will make really long vocabulary lists, which are very useful for year seven and eight mm -hmm. in preparation for common entrance. Year sevens write all their journal totally in French. So yeah, each year it changes. And um, and during the stay, how's the accommodation and the food? Is that all? It's all lovely. It's yeah. all great. It's, it gives the children a, a good taste of France. I mean, it takes them a while sometimes to get used to the different uh, flavours and tastes yeah. on the menu. Yeah. Um, but I had one little boy who's never had, never eaten veal. You know, tonight's meal was the best meal he's had. He said. <laughs> so he was, I mean, very excited. <laughs> and it, it's things like I had a little, a little chap, year seven, bounded up to me after the session in the classroom with the journals tonight and said, Miss Three, Miss Three, I've used the past tense for the first time. <laughs> and they love it. They do feel, yeah. you know, they do feel that eating the different food, doing, completing the workbook. Some children, first time staying away from home, yeah. they do feel there's a real sense of achievement. Mm -hmm. And it's little things, and I, I just think, you know, if they feel there is achievement in little things, then that, that can be yeah. built upon. But they're great. And the staff enjoy it too. Are we fine? I've always found that yeah. the staff who have been with me have really enjoyed the week. Fantastic. Well, I think you've probably um, summed it all up very nicely for us. And thank you very much. Yay.